Hello, good morning, my crafty friends. This is Tanya. Today it is what day is today? Today's Thursday, and I'm just crafting. I've got some projects to make. I want to make this little dragon this morning, and so I'm bringing you along. Yeah, I hope you're uh, having a fantastic Thursday. I've already got some of these pieces cut, um, the bigger ones, and I thought I can do the smaller ones here on my sidekick so we're gonna do that this morning I hope you guys are doing great did I say that already it's a good day um, I got some sad news today I'm kind of bummed um, but you know what there's reasons for everything right so you guys know I was super excited recently about some changes that may be happening and what that was was a job interview I was actually interviewing with Hobby Lobby to be a co-manager at one of their local stores here. I was super excited because <laughs> who would be better at that job than me? <laughs> so I was really excited. I had two interviews with them and it's been a week now and I was getting a little discouraged and today I finally got the no thank you. We went a different direction. So um, that did not pan out. I'm okay, it will be fine. God has his reasons and I just have to understand that. So I'm okay with it. Yesterday I had a really crazy experience as well. Um, I took the wrong turn coming out of Tuesday morning and witnessed a huge major accident. Um, and it kind of, uh, kind of bothered me all day. So I kind of wasn't in the crafting mood or any kind of mood really. Um, so that was a tough day, but we're going to be all right. We're going to be just fine. Um, let's see, lightest is on top. So yellow, the darker yellow should go first. So yeah, so it's been a crazy day. So what happened with the accident? Um, I don't know if the guy is okay. I mean, he was alive, but he, I was sitting at the intersection waiting for the light there were two cars maybe in front of me. I don't know because um, everything happened so quickly. I think there were two cars in front of me and then there were cars to my left in the left lane. And I was in, so I was in the, one of the middle turn lanes and um, this truck, which is the same type of truck I drive, comes barreling through the intersection right in front of us, had a street sign that he took out on his on the hood of his truck, um, barely, the, the street sign flew up and hit the car next to me. Um, he didn't hit anybody, thank God, but he went down, down the bank and his truck flipped over. When it got there, it hit this cement um, gutter, is the only way I can explain it, huge gutter in the, in the ravine, not the ravine, it's not a river. Um, but it's like a waterway where it catches all the water in the rainwater. And so it goes th into the cement gutter and then out the pipe, I guess, or it drains into the, I don't know, but it's, it's like a water catch. So um, he went down that embankment pretty far. When he hit that cement, his truck rolled over and um, he was still inside. I'm pretty sure that he probably had a medical emergency. Somebody was like, oh, he's on something, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I don't think so, because he never slowed down. If he was drunk or high or something like that, um, I think he would have been able to slow that truck down on the way, but he never hit the brakes. Um, he was barely conscious when we got to him, and he lost consciousness while we were talking to him, waiting for the ambulance and fire trucks and such. But when they got him, when they had to bust out his front windshield to get him out. And by the time they had him on a stretcher, he was responsive and his eyes were open. Um, I kind of think he was probably having a stroke. And I just, my heart just sank for him. Um, you know, just in, in one day, how amazing. How quickly, not amazing, I don't, I don't. It's just how quickly that everything changes, you know, or can change. And that's kind of a scary thought. It's a reminder, you know. It's just a reminder how 
things can change in a heartbeat. And I, I hope he's doing okay. I, I wish I knew who he was and, and how he's doing. But I don't know. I might do some research later today and see if I can find out anything. I don't know. But I witnessed it and was there to help if I could. But luckily there was a um the off there was a truck right next to mine on the other side of me who was an off-duty police officer and he waved at me and he he asked me to let him through. Of course I'm going to let him through. I didn't know he was a police officer, but we found out when we got down there. But so there were several of us that stopped to to see if we could help somehow. Um whatever was needed from us we wanted to be able to do that since we saw him fly through the intersection like that um so it was a kind of a, a rough day not as rough for me as it was for him but poor guy hopefully he's all right that's the second time in my life something like that's happened and I was right there for it and they just went barreling through. Second time. What are the chances of that? And had I not missed my turn and gone, gone to um, lunch as I'd intended, I wouldn't have been there at all. I wouldn't have seen any of it. So there was a reason I was there why but I was interesting right I truly believe there's a reason for everything okay and I didn't get the job for a reason there's a reason Okay, now let's see, what else? What else, what else can I figure out? This goes, looking at this guy, and this goes here, Avi. I didn't have a lot of difference between my colors now that I'm looking at it. I thought they were quite a bit different until I'm putting them together, stacking them like this. They're not as different as I thought. I thought this little guy would make a cute, cute, cute St. Patrick's Day dragon. I don't know that dragons have anything to do with St. Patrick's Day, but I thought he'd be darn cute. And I've been wanting to make him. And why not? Why the heck not? Okay, so there, there, there. So cute. I can always use like something to darken these pieces if I wanted to. I think I will use, um, the next time I make him, I will use different, you know, have them contrast much more with the colors. Did I use this piece already? Was I supposed to? Oh yeah, that's this one. But he's cute anyway. So yeah, that's my uh, big day yesterday. Very exciting. Today, I'm just staying home. <laughs> I don't want to go anywhere. I'm stuck here at home today. I'm making myself stuck here at home today. No going. No reason. Don't need to go shopping. Got plenty to do. The kids are going to be gone out of state over the weekend, so I'll be here. 
have to work by myself and get some stuff done. Should I get everything out of there I needed to? I think so. Let's see. I need a pokey tool. Some of these pieces are so darn small. Let me see what these are supposed to be, though. So, darker in the back. I need the white ones. Did I do white? I didn't do white. I need white. I need white. Come here, sidekick. You weren't done yet. You were not done. You went rested, and you weren't even finished with the job. Um, and I need black as well. Just need a little chunk of white. We might as well put white and black on here at the same time. Pass it through once to get it over with. Put black on there. Oops, that's not it. Where's black? I know it's, oh, there it is. Tiny itty bitty dots, okay. Probably use a marker for those, but I'm gonna cut them. Being hard on myself, gonna cut them. the other piece go there it is oh my gosh look how tiny they are okay I try to get these not to pop too crazy because they they end up getting lost but there we go all right let's see what we can do there so white goes at the back white and then the light yellow. I'm just gonna drop a little glue right there. A little glue right there. That's probably all I'll need. See if I can pop that in there. My fat fingers. I wonder if I was supposed to put that on before. All the layers. If so, can I stick it under there? I think I was supposed to put it on under the layers, you guys. Oh. All right, let's see if I can get these up. I can. Carefully. This one tucked in there as well. Next time I'll know better. I think you're supposed to do like all the ones and then you move on to the twos and I should have known, I should have remembered that. I think you're supposed to do that. Okay, that's cute. Okay, now the darkest goes next. So how does that work? So these are the that. Okay, so these go this way. Goodness, these are tiny. The kids are, are excited about traveling with the dog. I'm like, you are crazy. <laughs> I wouldn't want to do it. But they're very excited about it. And I'm glad. I'm so glad. Grandma has already seen the puppy. See grandma. She's in here, silly. Grandma. Hi, puppy. Did you get your carrot toy? Did you get your carrot toy? You guys, check this out. He got his carrot toy. Where's your carrot? Get your carrot. Doobie. What? I said doobie. Oh, doobie doobie. Oh, there he is. Doobie. He knows mommy's got treats. All right, that was a quick visit from Doobie. Sorry for the dizzy. <laughs> Let's see if we can get you back back in place here you guys always tell me we wanted to see the puppy so there you go
I'm not sure if I'm placing these exactly like I'm supposed to. But they've got to be close. Can't be too far off. And then the little black dot. Oops, I wiped up the white the glue on that one. Let's see if I can get that the right way. There we go. That really brings him to life, doesn't it? Oh my goodness, how cute he is. Okay, now his little feet. I feel like I didn't leave enough. Oh! That's because I got something missing. You guys, I forgot about this part. Okay. I forgot a color. This probably should have been the back color, but I only had the small piece. What you crying about? Did the puppy getting you? No, the puppy's not getting you. She's warning him though. She's like, leave me alone. Yeah, this would have probably been a better um, color for the back, but there was only that small piece of it. And then this would be his leg, which goes down here. Right there, okay. What you doing, Peppa Dup? That's Gretchen. Okay. Okay. And then this one goes here. So my colors are a little bit out of order, but they actually look really cute. So I'm not too concerned about it. There, that fits just right. Okay. And then. You guys, there is somebody that drives by. I don't know if it's my house or one of my neighbor's houses that they're honking at, but every time they drive by, they honk. They just drove by again. I wonder, I wonder what that's about. I wonder. I don't know anybody here, so. curious or if it's somebody that thinks they know somebody like <laughs> I don't know I don't know okay so this one this dragon wasn't as hard to put together as some of the others like the, the Santa oh my goodness he was he was a lot this is wrong this is not right. This is the wrong way. Let's see, how is this supposed to go? This goes this way, I, I get it now. That makes more sense. Oop. That makes more sense. This one was kind of quick compared to the Santa. As I'm looking at this picture, let's go this way. I think so. All right, there he is. This is going to be my little St. Patrick's Day dragon. I absolutely love this die. I can't wait to do him. I'm going to do him in lots of different colors or color variations, but for St. Patrick's Day, he needed to be green. So that's it for this one. Um, 
I will probably show you guys a reveal once my project is done, since it's going to be a surprise for the recipient. I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys enjoyed my little story time. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Get out your supplies. Let's have some fun. Um, stay tuned because I'm going to probably put out another video yet today. I've got more to do. Hope you guys have a great one. We'll see you in the next time. Bye-bye.